This video goes over the recharge process for the helium compressor. You'll need to do a recharge when your helium supply and return pressure are too low. Indicators of this are a helium undercharge error when the system first starts and your return pressure falls below 0.35 megapascals or if your balance pressure is less than 1.55 megapascals. For optimal performance, the pressure should be around 1.78 megapascals. Expect to do the recharge every 18 to 24 months or longer. If the pressure drops to 1.55 megapascals more frequently than this timeline, please contact us and we'll provide you with instructions on where to check for potential helium leaks. First, to read the pressure, press the display button on the front panel. Here it is just slightly low, so we will top it up to 1.78 megapascals. To do a helium recharge, you'll need the following pieces of equipment. You'll need a 5.9 helium cylinder, so ultra high purity helium. You'll need a high pressure regulator that goes up to at least 250 PSI. In your accessory kit, you'll find two adapters. One is to go from the helium cylinder to the hose, and then the other is to vent the charging line. Two crescent wrenches, adjustable and you can leave all the hoses and cables attached to your system except for the return line. We'll do the charging through the return line. The 10 foot hoses will work okay for this. If you have 30 foot hoses, you'll either want to lend a recharge kit or purchase a recharge kit to avoid wasting too much helium. Lastly, you'll want a copy of the service note that goes through the instructions we are about to cover. Now we're ready to start the recharge process. So we've attached the helium regulator to our cylinder. The cylinder is closed. This is on decrease and the regulator is also closed. So we'll start with the adapter in the accessory kit that goes from the regulator to the hose. There's a couple different variations of this in the accessory kit. This one's a VCO. Some of them are this fitting here. So you add Teflon tape and screw it into the regulator. So we'll start by just screwing this on. Finger tight is fine. So before I attach the return line to the adapter, I am going to purge the return line and get all the helium out before we hook it up. So to do that, we'll take the vent valve from the accessory kit and hook it up to the return line. So now we're going to attach the return line to our adapter. Make sure it screws on straight so there shouldn't be a lot of difficulty. Okay. So now we're going to open the tank. and we're gonna increase this to 100 PSI. And there's a few ways you can do this next step. So you can leave it at 100 PSI and then purge out the return line for 15 to 20 seconds to flush the whole space with helium. Or you can increase to 100 and then decrease. So we'll fill the line and then so then I'm going to decrease it and then I'm going to vent out the other end of the return line And then when it goes down to zero, we will increase it up to 100 again, then decrease it, again vent it,
one more time. And this time we'll charge all the way up to 245 PSI. So at this point you have helium through this part when you charge it up to 245. So then you decrease. And at this point, you're going to connect the return line back up to the compressor and recharge the compressor. So now, with the return line still hooked up to the helium cylinder on one end, we're going to attach the return to the return in the compressor, and the supply is still connected to the cryostat. So this is the process of recharging the whole system. At this point, we're ready to refill the helium compressor. So we have the return line running from the helium cylinder to the compressor and the supply running from the compressor to the cold head. Have one person watch the display on the compressor while the other person slowly turns up the pressure on the helium tank. If your pressure is below 0.35 megapascals, complete this step with the compressor off because the system will be in an error state. You'll need to turn the pressure on the regulator up to about 200 PSI and then turn on the compressor to see the display. Now increase the helium regulator to 245 PSI and have your partner tell you when you get to 1.78 megapascals on the display of the compressor. Go slowly as you approach the final pressure. So then you decrease. So now we've refilled the helium compressor. The pressure reads about a little over 245. If you are recharging the compressor and you go up um, and you're adding helium and it's getting pretty far up on the regulator and not changing on the display, you may want to turn off and on your compressor. If you recharge above 2 megapascals, your cold head relief valve could blow, so you want to make sure that you are reading something reasonable on the regulator. So at this point, we have recharged everything. So you can close the tank off and decrease. And when you take off the hose, you'll want to place one wrench here to hold this steady, and then use the other wrench take the hose off. And then once this is done, you can attach the return back to the cold head and your system's ready to use.